Hello, nata karon sa Guitar Center. Natay ipaset up nga guitar atong daan nga gitara. Inaot nga okay lang set up no? para magamit yung panato sa atong mga kanta. Kumusta? Uh, Ay uh, shout out sa atong mga mga amigo diha. Mani atong ipaset up karon nga gitar. Ah, so dagen ko gitara ari no. Napakoy acoustic guitar. Oy, nakoy electric. Kani siya to ning ipaset up. Ya hay, darao. Okay, going inside data. Padong ata sa sod. Mone ang guitar center. Our center. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say to order in this piece, I'd say I, I've never ordered one before, but I'm sure you can get one. Ah, uh, knock like 20 bucks off for you. Or if you want, you know what I mean? Do you have something in mind? Actually, I do have a, a isolated one at home for supply, mm -hmm. so no no problem with the supply. Yeah, center negative, 9 volt DC, 9 volt and center negative. I think this is standard one. Uh, yeah, standard, just like the boss or any other pedals. Ah, uh, one spot. Okay. Works normal? Yeah. Yeah, great. So, yeah, just regular 9 volt power supply seems to be working. So, yeah, I'd be willing to knock up the price of a power supply 20 bucks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. ah, just get you want to keep the box too, or no? Ah, yeah, just keep the box. Or would you prefer me to send you a power supply home? Yes. I know, I, I do have. Okay. You got one already? Yeah. Felix, um, did you talk to Aiden yet about your guitar? Not yet. Okay. okay. So if you want to leave this here, you uh, can, yeah. and you then can. Uh, you can go talk to Aiden. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Hi. What did you want to rewire it for? Do you want to get like a push pull on here or something? I don't or? know. I, I, same, same wiring would do. Perfect, right? <laughs> Everything on here works fine. Uh, what I could do, um, I could do a setup on this that doesn't really do much for the electronics. Oh, yeah. So the setup is what I'll do is I'll put new strings on here. Uh, I'll make sure the bridge is floating correctly. Uh, yeah. um, and then just like I'll straighten the neck out and everything. Yeah. Uh, that one's about 65. But if you wanted to like uh, do an even like bigger kind of thing for this, uh, it will be a hundred, it's called the platinum. So what I'll do is I'll take like a toothbrush to your fingerboard and like get all the gunk off of there and everything. Oh. Then I'll like wax and polish the body and get that looking all shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, gives it a nice little protective coating and mm -hmm. all that. Um, and it just makes it look and play brand new, basically. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. what 
What's uh, recommended? <laughs> I got you. Yeah, uh, the Platinum is the one that I like to recommend a lot of people. If you haven't had a setup done on it in a while, uh, it could probably use some of the love. Um, <laughs> that would do. And do the Platinum? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to pick out like a nice set of strings for this as well? Or you just want to go with like the house brand that we got? And this is 9 to 46 uh, if you have. 46. Yeah, if you want to The ESL1, we'll ESL125. Uh, let me see. Do Actually, it's not here, but it's the yellow yeah. one. The yellow, oh, yeah, this one. This one, I'm using this one. 946? Yeah. Have you, have you used these ones before? Yeah, I actually, actually bought one for the new, for I got the new you. guitar. Yeah, yeah. And... You just want to throw these on there as well, then? Because it's probably it's the same as these ones. It's just the uh, the NYXL version, so it's got uh, a little bit longer lifespan to it. Oh, yeah. I'm using this for about four months now. Okay, I got you. Uh, is there any certain tuning that you play in, or just standard? Uh, standard. 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 I got you. E. Ah, uh, E. Yeah. I actually brought this guitar from the tropical area, so when okay. I got here, uh, it was the action was very high. I see what you're saying. Okay. Like, did you try to do like a little like a, uh, did you mess with everything on here? I know. When I got back. Okay. Cause it looks fine. Is what I was gonna say. You didn't do a bad setup on this. It's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, and the amateur one. <laughs> if and, you uh, could set up this low with minimal super loss, low, yeah. yeah, super low action. We're, uh, we specialize. Wow. <laughs> so when probably this will be uh, good I'm for... I'm <laughs> uh, I'll probably be done with this later today. Sometime. Oh, today? So yeah, if you want to pick it up like tomorrow, I'll go ahead and serial number. Mm -hmm. uh, is there like a buzz or anything anywhere that I had to look out for? Actually, there's no buzz. No buzz? Sweet, uh, yeah. alright. So be easy enough then. I have a few uh, fret, uh, fret layer here. Mm, I see. Okay. I'll fret see if I can go ahead and uh, <laughs> see if I can go ahead and polish them up when I got this uh, got this open over here and everything for you. Thanks for that. No problem. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. See ya. Take it easy. Get home safe. Yeah, hey, nabili na tong gitara. Uh, salamat. Then na po tayo sa napalit. Salamat Lord! Next day. The next day. The next day. Hello mga masters! Kumusta? Uh, nabalik na pata ka ron. Sa ito nang kuwaon na itong gipaset up ng guitar. So nata sa guitar center na po. Balik! Masood ta. Uh, itong tanawan. Huwag na kuman na ba? Guitar center. Perfect, yeah. Right. So, Ray's at the Gamino. So, Ray's at the Gamino. It's 
not that expensive. It sounds great. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just for my personal. Just a quick opinion, since you've been noodle, it sounds good from over there. But what do you think? Would you take that amp home with you for three hundred seventy-nine dollars? Uh, for the price, it's it's, uh, it's nice <laughs> for the price. <laughs> I'd rather take the, I'd rather get the two ones if I have the option. Man, speak in my heart. He would rather have a tube one than a digital amp. Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree. There's just a warmth there. That, the warmth. Yeah. yeah. So you cannot and you cannot emulate the the warmth from the, the real ones. <laughs> I played through a solid state amp, but everything leading up to it is tubes because it still gives me that sound. Nothing beats the 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 legit ones. <laughs> That was a good point. Yeah, thanks. Just for home, for home play, yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, so you, you could just play this amp. But if you want the real sound, so you could take. Have the, you played through a Black Star, or I mean, this one in particular, but any other Black Star? Do you have any? Yeah, opinion? yeah. What They're really think? good amps. Sounding amp. Well, where were you going with that? If you want the really good sound. Then tubes oh, yeah. yeah uh the downside is you really get so noisy isn't it neighbors <laughs> 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 so you have to crank the amp to get the get the best uh, the sweet spot especially the tube ones in this solid state you can just dial with just nine o'clock and yeah. you get the sound the, the, the set sound <laughs> Well, at some point we should plug into that. To get the Marshalls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's really a... That's really one. Just my yeah. humble opinion. <laughs> Lots of modelers today coming out. Modelers. Yeah. I don't want like one knob changes everything about your sound. Yeah. Really mask your guitar sound. Actually. I'm just more of a pedal board guy. Like, I want an overdrive. Me too. I have an overdrive pedal with a tube in it. Wow. And I'm just never going to find that. It's something else. There are lots of pipes today, like the fractal, the, the, uh, the multi processor. The, the fractal is like $2,800. Well, I'm going to Canada, but that's a pretty expensive thing. It's more. How many strings is that? Uh, the original was 5 and 5. Ascending fourths and descending fifths, the notes land in the same place. All the, all the relationships are the same. It's not octave over. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because as a bass player or a guitar player, any riff you know you can play on, on the bass side of the string, but when you change strings, you think you're going up to that note and you're going down to that note, but it's still the right note. So that's hard to wrap your head around, but when you start playing, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. It's just in the fifth tuning, you have to stretch a little bit. So there's a lot more, you know, like uh, on the bass side, it's tuned on the seventh fret instead of the fifth fret. So you got to span seven frets when you're playing. And, the, and this side is so much like guitar, I don't have to deal with your piece. But it's, um, it's just weird to do it with the other hand. 
So what's what's, what's, what's that called? What's, what's this is a Chapman stick. So Chapman. if you're curious, stick.com. Oh, is there a website? Stick. Uh, how is the spell? S T I C K. C K. And the guy that makes it is Emmett Chapman. So Chapman's. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's Emmett Chapman's pickup, which we all call the the stick up because it's the stick pickup. But oh, that's a smaller housing, and it does sound different. And I can tell when somebody's got that other pickup. <laughs> but for the most part, it's just bass and guitar. Yeah. How much is this? Uh, I'd say expensive, right? <laughs> Thirty-five hundred. Really I mean, there's options. You, you can get wood or bamboo, or there's an, a, a, an aluminum one. It's all one piece of anodized aluminum. The the body, I mean, the, the fretboard and the frets. So what's the wood? Yes, and the fretboard. this particular wood is called Terrara, but he uses paduke and rosewood. More like rosewood. Uh, I mean, there's uh, uh, if you go to their website, there's usually a half a dozen current woods uh, that they're using. So they're making this in the U.S. or only in California? California. Yeah. Lots of woods there, right? Yes. <laughs> Lots of uh, hardwoods. <laughs> yes, and uh, the guy, the guy that plays, you know, he was part of the Laurel Canyon '60s, '70s thing, so you know, he knew all the all the old guys back. More of a in innovator type. He's an inventor. Yeah, he. I remember he told me that the day he came up with the idea of doing this was kind of destroyed him as a musician. <laughs> Because then he became an instrument maker, and that took up all of his time. Oh yeah, yeah. Then he transformed to an yeah. instrument, and I think instrument he's maker made, side. Well, there's about 8,000 of these floating around. There's 10 string and 12 string, and he has a couple other different models, but all together it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 8,000. Stick that phone, so I'll stick that phone. We'll yeah. browse for that. I'm just testing you, actually. Yeah. You don't mind. Yeah, yeah sure. Seconds. No, no, sure. Yeah, I'm just looking at the knob layout, and I love this one more than any of the other ones, because this is your clean channel. Here's your overdrive channel. If you want to add, if you want to EQ the overdrive channel, you can do that. And for either one of these, if you want to add reverb, it's just one knob. And that's simplicity for me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Salamat Lord, na humana gilog set up atong guitar. Thank you. Na ulit na ta. So, X, paano? Super low ilang set up. Super low. Atong strings, the gigamit gauge is 9 to 46. So, super low ilang ilang action. Halos wat na yung makuha, no? Pero walay bus. Sakto pagka set up. Uh, maayos sila mo setup then oh nabago balik itong guitar ay lamat lord nabago balik uh, oh bago balik super low action uh -huh. so ito yung so yan Ayan. Kes kau pada plain saka, pada plain saka. <laughs> Kay na pay. So ayan, ang daan, ang imong suong mag imong suon nga maguang. Ha? 
Hangtod sa sunod video. Bye bye. Shout out mga amigo, mga masters. God bless.